bestbookbits.com presents Don't Give Up, Don't Give In. Lessons from an Extraordinary Life by Louis Zan Perini. Published in 2014. Completed just two days before Louis Zan Perini's death at the age 97. Don't Give Up, Don't Give In shares a lifetime of wisdom, insight and humor from one of the most incredible American lives of the past century. Zamperini's story has touched millions through Laura Hillbrand's biography, Unbroken, and its blockbuster movie ad- adaptation, directed by Angelina Jolie. Now in his own words, Zamperini reveals, with warmth and great charm, the essential values and lessons that sustained him throughout his remarkable journey. He was a youthful troublemaker from California who turned his life around to become a 1936 Olympian. Putting aside his track career, he volunteered for the Army before Pearl Harbor and was thrust into World War II as a B-24 bombardier. While on a rescue mission, his plane went down in the middle of the Pacific Ocean, where he survived against all odds, drifting 2,000 miles in a small raft for 47 days. His struggle was only the beginning. Zamperini was captured by the Japanese, and for more than two years, he courageously endured torture and psychological abuse in a series of prison of war camps. He returned home to face more dark hours, but in 1949, Zamperini's life was transformed by a spiritual rebirth that would guide him through the next 65 years of his long and happy life. Louis Zamperini's Don't Give Up, Don't Give In is an extraordinary last testament that captures the wisdom of a life lived to the fullest. The written summary can be found on our website, bestbookbits.com. So without further ado, I bring you the book summary of Don't Give Up, Don't Give In. The book in three sentences. One, forgive people who have hurt or upset you. Two, acceptance leads to contentment. Three, admit when you're wrong. The five big ideas. Number one, if you hate somebody, you're not hurting the person you hate, you're hurting yourself. Forgiveness is healing. Two, we all need a code of ethics to guide us, especially in tough times when everyone has to do their part for the greater good, for the family or the group to survive. Number three, rather than try to take on the whole predicament at once, I use the various survival skills I've already learned. First aid, obtaining food, knowing not to drink salt water, maintaining a positive attitude, and keeping my mind active. I followed my training a step at a time. I didn't freak out. Four, you must have hope. You must have hope. It rejuvenates your whole being. You can't allow negative thinking, even even though your chances are slim. I'm not saying that it's easy to do, but the ability to envision the road to successful completion is what keeps you alive. And five, Acceptance creates cheerfulness, which in turn creates contentment. I didn't know it then, but my persistence, perseverance, and unwillingness to accept defeat when things looked all but hopeless were part of the very character traits I would need to make it through World War II alive. During the two plus years I lived in Japanese prisoner of war camps, I noticed that the soldiers who suffered the most were the ones who wouldn't accept their situations. I decided to consider my incarceration as a challenge, like a winning a race. If you cling to the axe, you're grinding. Eventually, you'll only hurt yourself. You must have hope. It regenerates your whole being. You can't allow negative thinking, even if you know your chances are slim. I'm not saying that it's easy to do, but the ability to envision the road to successful completion is what keeps you alive. When the Apostle Paul was imprisoned, he said, Whatever situation I find myself in, I have learned thereby to be content. Acceptance creates cheerfulness, which in turn creates contentment. Don't leave the critical details to someone you don't know, especially when your life may depend on it. Sometimes what we see as a loss turns out in the end to be a gain, and sometimes a gain is a loss. I try not to be too swift to pass a judgment on any situation, Prefer it instead to be patient and take the long view because I believe that in the end, all things work together for good. It will be tough to amount to anything unless you commit to your goal and stay the course. You can't give in to doubt. You can't give in to pain. Never give up. If you want to be a champion, you have to go after what you want, tooth and nail. It's a great responsibility and a rough game. When times are tough, You have to keep the parties from jumping on each other. When you're wrong, 
Admit it. When you're right, keep your mouth shut. And that's a wrap on Don't Give Up, Don't Give In. Subscribe to our channel and take a look at the hundreds of book summaries uploaded previously. To find hundreds of written summaries, check out our website, bestbookbits.com. And for hundreds of audio podcast summaries, find us on mixcloud.com forward slash bestbookbits. Like and share if you got something from this summary and comment on what one thing stood out for you. Thanks for watching and have yourself an amazing day. Take care.